A mother's world crumbles and the nightmare begins. Who's behind the man in the mask? Where's the baby? Where's my money? There's a market for babies. I think someone's trying to sell our son. Parents become suspects. Doctor, is it possible he's being abused? An abduction. Does your son have a lot of accidents? You're getting it. Or something more sinister. Meet me at the garage in an hour. A family torn apart. When the cradle falls, the network premiere, Wednesday at 8 on 5. It's not for sale. We're giving it away. The best stand-up talent we could find, in our supermarket anyway, is waiting to entertain you after an update. Cats and dogs, brass monkeys, whose pipe bands, the nation's favourite subject, the weather. You can't tell an isobar from an isotherm? Then join me, Katie Ledger, for a clearer outlook. A weekly look at the world's weather events from drizzle to drought. How the weather affects our daily routine from health and wealth to food and fashion. Global warming, blizzards, floods, El Nino, all nature's big events are analysed, starting this week with Hurricane Mitch. Weatherfront starts Monday at 8.30 on 5. The Bartlett's. Kids are out. Fancy a quick noodle in bed. Ooh! The take here. Cross and Blackwell introduced New York Takeout. A delicious range of pork, beef, and chicken oriental noodle dishes in American style takeaway cartons. Ah, hi, kids. Oh, Dad. Cross and Blackwell New York Takeout. The American Takeout experience from your freezer. That's better. That's deadly. Two brothers, one on the shady side of the law. There's always a deal. Name your price. What do you want, the armored car? The other is the law. Hey! hey my new partner here doesn't think I'm going to send my little brother back to prison, but he's wrong. But dockside, with cops on the take. This for me? Are you in or out? His blood still thicker than water. Who's going down, you or him? A deadly game of cat and mouse. <laughs> Lou Diamond Phillips is the wharf rat. Watch your back. That's our load. The network premiere, Monday at 9 on 5. Before the funny business, the serious stuff. Here's Steve. It's just before 10 to 11. I'm Steve Dixon. An American man has been convicted of trying to kill his baby son by deliberately injecting him with HIV-infected blood. Brian Stewart infected the boy to avoid paying child maintenance. His son is now seven and has full-blown AIDS. Libya's state news agency says the two Lockerbie bombing suspects are unlikely to be handed over before the 10th anniversary of the bombing. The UN Secretary General Kofi Annan met Colonel Gaddafi to discuss the issue last night. He says he's hopeful of an agreement soon. Two pilots have been killed in a plane crash in Turkey. A small plane came down near a run runway at Istanbul Airport and exploded. They turned back to the airport after reporting a technical fault. Within the next hour, astronauts on the Space Shuttle Endeavour will begin joining together the first two pieces of the International Space Station. The astronauts will attach the American Unity module to the Russian Zarya capsule, which is already in space. Football and Middlesbrough and Newcastle drew two all in the North East Derby today and Borough have a tough clash in the third round of the FA Cup which was drawn earlier. They'll play Man United at Old Trafford, Holders Arsenal visit Preston, Premiership leaders Aston Villa host Hull City and Blackburn play Charlton. And let's have a look at tomorrow's weather now. It's going to be wet in the north with sleet or snow in parts, dull with some snow turning to rain in the south. Top temperature around 11 degrees. That's it, we're back with 5 News and Sport at 6. The business of sex, filth or fantasy. Porn makes a lot of money for the people behind it. But is this sexual liberation? There's a more relaxed attitude now about pornography. Or exploitation beyond the law. The police very occasionally raid them and within, a, within 24 hours to stop, the shops are restocked. Everybody's interested in sex and I don't think that's ever going to change. Sex and Shopping, Thursday at 10.50 on 5. 
Liverpool and the UEFA Cup. Two goals down and no McManaman, Ince or Redknapp. Can Fowler and Owen lead them to European glory? Liverpool! Oh yes! Oh, and a take on Mendieta. Great run. Tremendous stuff by Liverpool. Liverpool versus Celta Vigo, Tuesday, 7.15, live on 5. And Liverpool flying the flag for England! And talking of soccer, in half an hour, that's exactly what Steve Scott will be talking about. Then it's ice hockey from the NHL, and so time to puck off. Oh, and speaking of bad language, there's plenty of it, I fear, down the comedy store. So, you've been warned. I love Harzen, man. The only thing with Harzen is Harzen's cheap. We had a shop in Harzen called Low Cost. Went bankrupt. That's how cheap Harzen is. <laughs> you give up hash, Teletubbies makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> it's bollocks, isn't it? We should all have minimum two vibrators in the bed, right beside the bed. A plug-in and a battery. The plug-in you use all the time because it's right from the source. <clears throat> oh, my neighbours know when I'm home because the light's dim. I got knocked down by this mobile library. I was lying there under the wheels screaming and the driver opened the door and said, 